The next thing which I really like about this update is they have really finished fiddling with the interface to work properly on a 4K computer screen. Now this is nothing to do with editing 4K video. You don't need a 4K computer screen to edit 4K video. You might need a 4K TV so you can actually watch what it really looks like. But in terms of what the EDIUS interface looks like, you don't need a 4K screen. You might get one because they're quite nice and they're getting cheap and everything looks a little bit sharper on it. But the problem we had with EDIUS 7, and one of the major reasons why the whole interface got changed as it did, was because EDIUS 7, if you put that onto a 4K screen, looked so tiny that you couldn't use it. Everything was really, really small, and it wouldn't scale. It didn't matter what you changed inside of the program, it wouldn't scale properly. So they revamped the interface to be a properly scaling interface. So now it scales properly on 4K screens. When we get 8K screens, it should scale properly on that and so on. Now, EDIUS 8 came out in about June of 2015. So it's been out for nearly two years now. And when it came out, a lot of it scaled, but quite a lot of it didn't. And I remember the first video I did said that, oh yeah, most of it's working. I'm sure they'll sort it out pretty soon. They didn't sort it out quite as soon as I've expected, but now pretty much everything works properly. In 8.3, they'd fix nearly everything, but certain things like the layouter. Here's the layouter using EDIUS 8.3. You'll notice the keyframing area, you can't see it at all. And here's the layouter using EDIUS 8.5. Hey, everything's usable. You can even see the little handles on grass and everything else. This is what the mask filter looks like in 8.32 and 8.5. Quick titler, the buttons on 8.32 were just far too small and not usable. Now they all work properly. Been through pretty much everything into the interface and nearly everything scales properly. The only thing that remains really is things like the chroma key. Here. So for example, open up the chroma key filter and you have this preview area here where you can see things like a histogram and set up the key and so on. This is showing it off on an HD screen. Let me bring that up on a 4K screen. And yeah, it's still a little bit small. It's actually usable, but it's not quite as good as it could be. That's really because the chroma key and the chrominance filter still need a little bit of updating. You might notice on them there's a little blue exclamation mark on the chroma key filter. And if I go into the chrominance filter, there's one on that as well. And the reason for that is that EDIUS changed from being 8-bit to 10-bit and supporting alpha channels a couple of versions ago. And most of the filters have been updated, but the two that aren't are the chrominance filter and the chroma key filter. And that's what that little blue exclamation mark is. It says they only work in 8-bit. If you're in a 10-bit project, you know, you can shove them on a clip and use them and they work, but they don't work as well as they would do if they were 10-bit. Because of that, they are still in need of updating. When they do, I'm sure they'll fix this little preview area here. 